Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bronwyn, and you know what? Right off the bat, we're gonna dress the elephant in the room, and that is the state of my hair. You know what? That's all we need to say about it. I'm washing it tonight, don't you worry. Um, I might just put it in a ponytail, although my hair's so short it doesn't really go in a ponytail, but we just, we just don't even need to talk about it, okay? Anyways, I'm going to Disneyland. What? Um, this trip, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little, we planned this a week ago, two weeks ago, and we're going to Disneyland, and as I'm filming this, y'all don't know, this is going up after our trip, so the trip is coming gone by the time you're seeing it, but like, I haven't said anything about the fact that we're literally going to Disneyland. That really wasn't intentional, like I wasn't like, oh, let's make it a surprise, but it was just like, it was just very sudden it happened quick and before i knew it i was like well the trip is literally next week and i haven't said anything so like i think it would be fun to just surprise everybody and pop into disneyland i am vlogging every day we're going for three full park days there'll be a vlog for each of those days um but today we're gonna do a little pack with me because today's fr bless you <laughs> that was boon sneezing um, I'm gonna do a little pack with me because we today's Friday and we leave tomorrow Saturday at 6 a.m. And then we literally land in LAX at like 9 and we are driving straight to our hotel to drop off our luggage and then we are popping into Disneyland and we're gonna stay there till midnight. I'm not gonna lie. I feel nervous about it. Uh, I get very nervous to travel and the fact that tomorrow's just gonna be a really long day. Because, like, I have to be up 3 a.m., like, Florida time, and then not go to bed until, I mean, the park doesn't even close till 3 a.m. Like, I'm basically going to be awake for 24 hours tomorrow. And, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm stressed about it. But that's, you know what? It's fine. We're going to start packing. Um, so like I said, tomorrow we are going to Disneyland and the weather has been all over the place, but it's looking like it's going to be pretty warm, which I'm very grateful and excited for. And I think tomorrow we're going to have dress day because last time we went to Disneyland, I've only been once. This is my second time going and I'm so excited. Um, we had like themes kind of for each day. So we weren't necessarily matching every day, but like same family of attire so tomorrow we have dress day and kate got this really pretty like royal blue dress from amazon and i found this one from target and i'm not gonna lie it just got delivered and i haven't tried it on yet so i'm really really banking on this fittings so let's try it on okay stop this is literally so cute oh i love this i do wish it was like pink and blue um, cause I feel like that would definitely be more like Disneyland, but I think this is so cute. I like the little, it's got like a little crisscrossy thing going on here. We got some puffy sleeves. Like, I think this is fun and perfect for a first day at Disneyland. Um, it is a little bit short. I do have shorts on under it. Don't you worry. So I feel like I'm definitely going to wear shorts under it tomorrow. I guess just some little, we'll grab some little bikers. Okay, let's make sure that these aren't gonna like hang out the bottom. Okay, no, we're good, that's perfect. I wish I had white bikers. I do have some white running shorts, but I don't know if that's the vibe. I feel like just the black, like it's fine, right? Yeah, that's cute. Okay, and then my vision. So my little white tennis shoes from Amazon that I literally wear every day. Um, I think I'm just gonna bring those shoes because last time I feel like I brought like two, I think I had two different pairs of shoes. And it was two different pairs of white tennis shoes. And I was like, why, why was that necessary? Like I could have just worn the same ones. So I think I'm just going to bring that one pair and I have some little white. Let me get them. Okay. So these are the shoes. Um, I'm going to clean them before we go, but I have these little socks that have like a little ruffle along the edge of it. It's not even in focus, but you get the gist. Um, so I, I don't know if this is, if this is cute or if this is like, overkill but i do want to try it because in my head it's cute i just wish these socks were a little bit um lower they're a bit high which i don't mind like an over the ankle sock but this one is just like it's kind of a lot okay you literally can't see my feet if i stand like way over here maybe you can um 
I think that's too much. I just think they're too high. And I think if I like pull them down more, then they just like, you know, they get all like wrinkled along the sides. And you can tell that like, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna wear regular white socks. All right, well, that solves that. And then ears, I have to wear ears. So my plan, I think, is these Arendelle Aqua ones. Um, because I actually really don't like the color green that much. So I want to emphasize the blue that's in the dress. So I feel like wearing, let me get down to your level. I feel like wearing blue ears will help that. And these ones are very comfortable. They don't like squeeze my head really hard like some of the other Disney ones do. Um, I would need to fix my hair obviously, like this looks terrible, but we get the gist. I think these are cute. I also just love these ears. So like any excuse to wear them, like I'm here for. Okay, I think this is a win. I don't know if I'm necessarily gonna wanna like be in a dress all day. Um, and Caitlin and I both have this cute Disneyland shirt that I think, cause I am gonna bring a book bag for every day. Um, I think I'm gonna bring, or we're both gonna bring this with just black leggings as a like, you know, if we're done with the dresses, it's too much. We just wanna be able to like freely run around. Um, I think the high is to be like upper 80s, but the low is mid 50s, which I live in Florida. Like it's, it doesn't really get that cold this time of year. And I know that's not cold, but the climate is also just really different in California. Like it's a very dry heat. So once the sun goes down, it's chillier than it is here because we have such humidity. So I think I'm gonna bring this with just black leggings, but then I also wanna bring a long sleeve shirt that I can put on under this if I'm like genuinely cold. Um, because like, I don't think that short sleeves and leggings are gonna keep me super warm if I'm like actually cold. So I don't feel like I need to try this on, but I am gonna bring this shirt. And I feel like the ears match fine. It's not like a perfect match, but I'm also like laying everything out on my bed. Um, so, you know, I'll bring that. And then I'll bring just like a white long sleeve top. And then ugh, we've got black leggings. And I don't think that I'll need, why are these literally in a knot? Um, I don't think I need anything else. Like I'm gonna wear the same shoes and socks, question mark. I may throw an extra pair of socks in my bag just to have them, you know, it can't hurt. All right, so I think we're set for day one. I need to deal with this dress, um, steam it, you know, cut the tag off. Uh, but yeah, I feel good. I feel a little better now. Now day two, we are going to California Adventure. I think we are gonna park hop every day, but we, I gotta do something different to my hair. Um, we are gonna park hop every day, I think, but like we have to have a reservation for one park. So the first day we're starting in Disneyland and the second day, wow, we're gonna start in California Adventure. The hair is just, it's just gonna be bad. Um, so day two, California Adventure. I am building my entire outfit around these ears because duh, like I can't go to California Adventure and not do some sort of Wanda look for Avengers Campus. So I do wanna wear these ears. I have the matching lounge fly, but I don't necessarily wanna use that lounge fly every day. And it feels, I don't know, I just don't feel like I need a specific lounge fly for that day. I don't know, we'll see. If I have room, maybe I'll bring it, but I think I'm just gonna use the same lounge fly the whole time. But let's fix our hair a little. All right, so these are the ears, super cute, I love them. Obviously my hair will look better. Brown and stop talking about your hair. Uh, okay, so I, <laughs> this is the vision. I have, where are they? I have these white jeans, which are what I like want to wear, right? This is about to look really good. They're just white, they're ripped. It's supposed to be, I think, a little bit cooler on um, Sunday is when I'm wearing this. So I felt like jeans were a good, 
fit because I think it's supposed to be like mid 70s and I don't know I feel like jeans like they keep me warm but they're also ripped and they're pretty thin so if it's like really hot I don't think I'm gonna die um and my first vision let me show you the first vision was this shirt but I don't really like the tan with the white like I just don't think and I know that I could wear different jeans but I want to wear these jeans so you see the dilemma right because I love this shirt it's from fantasy feelings like I just think it's fun and cute so I was like okay I have a cute one from magical castle embroidery so this was option number two super cute too however I used to also have this shirt in red but it got a hole in it so I got rid of it but I was like you know I just feel like red it would be so much cuter with this outfit so I texted Elaine and was like what are the odds that I can get this shirt here I think I texted her on Sunday and was like what are the odds it can be here by Friday and she delivered it got here yesterday so I'm gonna wear this and it's gonna be so cute and I'm so excited so let's we'll do a try on for you so this okay I haven't put the whole fit on together yet and I'm already obsessed with it so oh my gosh stop it's gonna be so cute okay so we're gonna wear the jeans we're gonna wear the ears we're gonna wear this shirt the white tennis shoes but I think because these are high-waisted I want to crop this shirt cut it I know that I could just like stick it up under like that but I I I really just want to cut it like I would prefer it cut this is what it looks like just reg but like I think it would be so much cuter like that yeah okay let's cut it let's do it together so we've got well we need the shirt obviously um a ruler I have this like board thing and then a rotary cutter um, you can 100% just do this with scissors. It's just easier to me to use this. It makes a cleaner line. Um, and then I typically trace it along a ruler so that it's straight. So let's cut it. I'm going to start a lot higher than I actually, or lower than I actually want it because I am scared I'm going to cut it too short and there's no going back. So we're going to make sure it's laid out nicely. All right, it's nice and smooth. So I think I'm gonna start like here is good. There we go. We're gonna unlock our little cutter. Perfect. And we're just gonna go for it. There's no going back now. Oh, didn't cut right there all the way. Jeez, come on. So this is where I cut it to. I feel like I need to go a little shorter because I feel like it just kind of looks like this is the length of the shirt and it's not cropped, you know? Maybe like here so it like perfectly hits the top of the jeans. Okay, second cut. I think that's probably good. I don't want to get too confident and cut it too short. And I feel like this is good, right? Is it even? I feel like this side's a little bit longer, but honestly, it's probably fine. Let's put it on with the ears. Okay, yeah, that's cute. That's good. We'll get a little pick like this. You know the vibes. Um, I think this is good. So I'm going to bring another white shirt. And then we're moving on to outfit day three. Okay. I got a little sidetracked doing some things for work. So I forget where we were. Um, I got all of day two done, right? Yeah. We're on to day three. Day three, um, I really wanted to do something that was kind of based around the 100th because Disneyland is hardcore celebrating the 100th right now and Disney World hasn't quite gotten on that bandwagon yet. So I have... I have an option that I'm a little bit worried about because um, that day is going to be the coldest day. Let's see what the temperature's gonna be. What's the, what's the date of it? May 1st. Echo, what's the temperature in Anaheim, California on May 1st? 
On Monday, May 1st, in Anaheim, California, expect a high of 66 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> a high of 66 degrees Fahrenheit. You know, that just wasn't, it wasn't in the cards when I planned this outfit. Um, so let me show you what I got. So the plan is that I have this super cute purple romper because the colors for the 100th are like purple, black, and silver. I think they technically call it platinum, but it's silver. So I had this and I was gonna wear just a white. Ooh, Boone, I need this. Thank you very much. Boone was laying on it. Um, well, I think being that it's gonna be 66, I'll probably still bring the short sleeve, but it's looking like the long sleeve is gonna be the move. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try this on at least. But I'm nervous. They decided now is a great time to mow the grass outside. I almost called it vacuuming, but it's not vacuuming. They're mowing the grass. Um, so this is the look. I haven't worn this yet, so I haven't properly tied these, obviously. Um, and I don't really want to do it right now. So just imagine it's more like that. Uh, not so baggy in the back. But so I have this with the white tennies, obvi. And then these ears. These are the, I think they're called like the magic mirror ears or something. They're just silver. But I think this is like, this is so cute. And I really want to wear this, but I just am scared I'm going to be so cold. I'm going to bring it, but then I also, I don't have it to try on. So you're just going to have to wait and see. Maybe I'll film it when it gets here. Um, so Caitlin's wearing black overalls. I don't know what shirt she's planning to wear under it just yet, but I bought black overalls that are long and then a purple t-shirt that I could wear under it with these ears, which I think would still be really cute. I do really like this purple romper, but like, I don't want to be cold. So that's what we're working with. Um, yeah, I know that 66 is not cold, but for me, that's it's brisk. It's a little bit chilly. It's also like only gonna be 66. Can you please be quiet? No? Okay, cool. It's only gonna be 66 like part of the day. Like I feel like most of the day it's gonna be like 50s. And that is just, that is just so tricky for me. I don't know what to do. Regardless, I am gonna bring a second outfit for this day because I feel like even if I wear the long ones, I'm gonna need like a sweatshirt or something. So I think, what should I wear? Me and Kate didn't talk about this, if we're gonna match. I do have a purple Disneyland sweatshirt that maybe I could wear that with just like leggings. Is that the vibe? Let me find the sweatshirt. Okay, so I have this sweatshirt. I feel like this would be cute because it still is with the 100th, like, family you know i also can't get over how ridiculous um i look right now in this <laughs> whatever we're not going to talk about it um but yeah i feel like this i just wonder if this is gonna like fit in my book bag that's the real problem but and i feel like we can just wear that we can wear that with black leggings and then i think we would be set right I do feel like I need, no, I don't feel like I need another shirt. Like I'm, I'm not wondering, am I going to be too hot in leggings and a sweatshirt with a long sleeve shirt under it? That I'm like, do I bring another shirt to wear under the sweatshirt? But I feel like if I'm hot, then I can just wear the sweatshirt and not wear a shirt under it. I think that's probably going to have to be the move. Honestly, I'm not mad at this because I really like that sweatshirt and it's purple so like it still fits with like the vibe I was going for. I just hope that I don't have to wear that all day. But if I do, honestly, like whatever, who cares? I wonder, mm, I wish Kate was here so I could ask her. Ask her when she gets home though, if I should bring a pair of jeans that I would wear with that sweatshirt like as an all day outfit in case the other uh, overall fit that I get like doesn't work um, and I wear this all day. I feel like I would rather wear jeans than leggings, but I don't know. I don't know. All right. Well, we're going to leave that 
we're just gonna leave that for now until I can consult with Kate. But next I wanna do some jewelry. And by jewelry, I mean earrings because other than that, I don't really change the jewelry that I wear. I just have my rings I wear all the time, my necklace, y'all know. Um, so I feel like I just really need earrings. I do kind of know what earrings I wanna wear every day, I think. Um, so I wanna wear these. Oh yeah, that's cute. I have these. Whoa, I need to set this down before I spill all my earrings on the floor. I have these little ones from Kate Spade that I want to wear with the first dress, the day one, because I feel like this will also help tie in some more of the blue, you know? Ooh, with Wanda. Um, This could be cute. Little hearts, and then it's giving, like, to grow old in. I feel like I might bring those. But then also maybe just bring just like something simple and sparkly. Whoops, there it goes. Um, yeah, because I just don't know. Oh, this could be cute. I have these black ones. Maybe those are the move. Okay, I'll bring the hearts and I'll bring the black ones and I'll decide day of what I think the vibe is. I do have a specific pair also that I want to wear for the D100 day. I think they're in Kate's, I think all my Disney ones are in Kate's stuff. These are perfect. Okay, these, um, I think they're bubble bar. My mom got them for me for my birthday. And I think these, yeah, that's cute. That's fun. Okay, so jewelry set. Uh, I might, I don't know if I want to bring another necklace. I feel like I might want one that's like a little bit longer for this first dress, but I don't know if I can actually commit to that or not. Um, yeah. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to do at the moment. Uh, I do still obviously have to pack like toiletries. I need to pick out a lounge fly and all of that. But I got some other things I need to do around the house first and then I'll be back for you. Uh, I realized after I just told you bye, I'm not done packing clothes. <laughs> I did all of the park days, but we do have a day, um, the day that we leave, our flight isn't until like two something, so we're gonna go to maybe Disneyland Hotel, maybe Downtown Disney or something that day, so I need an outfit. I also need something to wear on the plane to and from, so I'm gonna wear this on the plane tomorrow, fun little opening day Disneyland speech. And I'm gonna wear that with some Align joggers. And then I'm also gonna grab a sweatshirt because I am always frigid on planes. I don't really know what sweatshirt I'm gonna wear. It doesn't really matter. Things that I still need. I need a sweatshirt for the plane. And you're probably thinking, Bronwyn, you're already bringing a sweatshirt, just wear that. I can't. I don't like, I don't, something about whatever I wear on a plane, that's the only time I can wear it. It's not even like a germs thing. It's just like always feels a little bit nasty. That especially if I'm maybe planning on wearing that purple Disneyland sweatshirt for like a full day or like a lot of a day, I need that to be clean. So that, I'm just, I'm bringing another sweatshirt, okay? That's all I'm trying to say. And then, so I have my outfit to change into and then an outfit for my park bag. Got it. Sunday, have everything. For Monday, I have everything. I do want to grab, just in case for whatever reason, I decide that 66 is actually a little bit toasty. I want to have the white long sleeve, at least like in the state of California with me, just in case I decide that I need or want to wear that. So I'm going to grab that. Um, everything else I have. Okay, Tuesday. That's what I still need stuff for. So... The high is 64 on Tuesday. That to me seems a little bit chilly. So I think I'm gonna bring, so hold on, let me grab it. I have this jean Disneyland spirit jersey that I wanna wear and my plan was to wear it with shorts, but now I'm second guessing that and I think I need to wear it with leggings because it's gonna be probably in the 50s the whole time that we're there and that's kind of chilly. Okay, so uh, let me bring this. And then, so on the plane, I'm gonna wear that on the plane, but 
but I'm gonna put different pants on because I don't like to wear leggings or shorts on planes. I need something cozy, not tight. So I have dance studio joggers from Lulu that I'm gonna bring for the- Okay, we're back, my camera battery died. What was I saying? That's my plain outfit, but I do still need something to wear like that day. It's so crooked now. I had it all nice, whatever. Um, so let me grab a pair of shorts and a pair of leggings. I changed my mind. I'm not even gonna bring shorts because I know that I'm gonna be cold. So like, what's the point? I'm just gonna bring, I'm gonna wear some pink leggings and then I'm gonna bring a t-shirt to wear under this, but also something that like still matches this. So if it is a little bit warm, I can just wear the short sleeve shirt that is under this. And I think that's a better idea. I don't think I need shorts that day. I'm gonna bring this shirt, which is just so sad because Kate got this for me. I don't know where she got it. Um, but after our last Disneyland trip, she got it for me because Matterhorn is my favorite ride and it's down while we're there. And I'm so sad, but that's okay. There'll be other times that I go that it'll be open and it's closed for refurb, which, you know, safety is more important than me getting to go on that ride. So I'm gonna wear this because that still would be cute with the pink leggings. So we need, we need some undergarments for that day. I also have pajamas. Um, I don't know if this is gross. I don't, I rewear pajamas. Uh, typically my max is three nights and we are there for three nights. So I'm bringing one pair of pajamas. Uh, I just don't feel like I need 8,000 pairs. I just feel like I'm gonna have a lot of room in my suitcase. Like I don't feel like I've packed that much. I'm also notorious, notorious for overpacking, especially for a trip like this where I'm like, is it gonna be cold? Is it gonna be hot? I don't know. Like I need options. <laughs> so yeah, okay. I think that's all the clothes that I need. I do still need to grab a sweatshirt and that short sleeve shirt. But other than that, I think I'm set. Jewelry is good. I can rewear maybe those mini earrings on that last day. I don't feel like I need to bring a separate pair of earrings for that day, like it'll be fine. Uh, yeah, that's all my clothes. I guess I'll go ahead and get a suitcase going. Why not? And then I need to get started on some toiletries. Toiletries are what really always stress me out because I always like, like, okay, I'm leaving tomorrow, but I need that stuff tonight and tomorrow morning. So like I can only pack so much of it and I hate that. But let's, let's get this in a suitcase and then we'll deal with that. Hello. I know it looks like I haven't done anything, but I've done a lot. Um, my suitcase is, I don't want to say it's packed, but I like to use packing cubes and I got all of my clothes into packing cubes. Um, and literally all of my clothes fit into one and then I have like socks, underwear, and bras in another one. And pajamas are in that one. But that's literally all I'm bringing. So that's great. Um, I am now packing my park bag. I decided that I'm gonna bring this one because it is just so freaking cute and I love it. And I'm trying to like be strategic because basically my plan is I'm gonna steam my dress and nicely lay it on top of my clothes in my suitcase. And then I am gonna bring a, another book bag so that I can bring like my iPad and like headphones and all that kind of stuff onto the plane. But I'm gonna have my park bag already packed so that I literally can just like take it out of, I'm gonna put it in that book bag. I don't think I said that. Um, so that it's like ready to go basically. Cause really all I need on the plane is headphones, my iPad. I'm gonna bring my makeup on the plane because I will be doing my makeup on the plane. And then this, so I feel like it should all fit. I'm really hoping. Um, so I'm gonna a little bit while I figure out what else I'm missing from my park bag, um, I'll go over it with you. All right, I zoomed you in a little because I felt like I was like really far away. Um, so on my list, well, first of all, so I have, my clothes in here. I literally have an entire second outfit um, for when the sun goes down and it takes up a large portion of the bag. In this little front part, I read ahead and put chapstick, hand sanitizer, and an extra camera battery. So that's all ready to go. And then everything else that's in here so far, I've put into this little pouch. So I've got 
all kinds of mess. I have a little deodorant. I have my fuel rod. I have many different types of medicine, um, hair tail, scrunchie. I think that's about it in here. Um, but I want to look through my list and see if there's anything else I'm missing. So my list, I had fuel rod and cord. Got it. Extra battery. Got it. Scrunchie. Got it. Ear holder. I do have that attached already i got this off of etsy before our last disneyland trip basically you can just pop open this little snap and then put the ears in and they can like hang um because after a while ears tend to hurt my head or i just like when you're going on a ride it's nice to have somewhere to put them so i have that mini deodorant sunglasses i need to get pins to trade i need to get band-aids i need to get wallet camera and tripod so my wallet is here i'm like flip around because my id um this i'll need handy because i'll need this at the airport i did check this in for our flight yeah that's basically it okay i'm gonna go get some pins to trade some sunglasses and some band-aids perfect <laughs> so my amazon stuff came and you know it's just not the look and they are very much high waters i know you can't see that but they're just like kind of like bulky i don't know i also do have on well, I would wear a shirt under it, but I do still have on running shorts under this. But I just don't, I don't feel good in it. I would rather be wearing, if I'm cold, leggings and a sweatshirt than this. So, you know, that's sad. But now we know. It made it at least. I'm honestly impressed with myself that it is, what time is it? It is 4.12 and I'm like basically packed i still need to pack my hair tools but i'm gonna i think go ahead and shower and wash my hair and do my hair so that i don't have to wake up even earlier tomorrow to do it because i think we're leaving here at like 4 a.m um i need to pack like my toothbrush and that kind of stuff which again i can't really pack until the morning i think other than that i'm ready I hope that y'all are excited for the Disneyland vlogs. I'm very excited. By the time you're watching this, the trip has come and gone. So if you hate all the outfits, I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all again real soon.